Hi! In this button prototype tutorial, you will combine different buttons and lights together, to get a grasp on the main components of this asset. No blueprint code required, but it uses the Light Actor class, built in the previous tutorial. Let's begin. Add a button prototype actor, from Blueprint's core folder, to the scene. Select PK Base 20, as Base Mesh. And PK Handle 15, as Handle Mesh. Check can rotate. On Z axis. With a rotation amplitude of 360, proportional. This means it will be divided by the number of states. Check can slide. Set an initial offset of minus 8, so the handle starts on the far left. And a position delta of 16, that will cover the whole length of the slider. Leave it proportional as well. Go to the iterative state component, and add 6 states. We will come back to this later. Test it out. The button slides and rotates. Add another button prototype actor. Set the following meshes, handle 12, and base 18. This will be a lever with only one state. It can rotate, on the Y axis, by 60 degrees. Make the rotation amplitude constant directional. This means, the rotation will always be from 0 to 60 degrees, but the sign depends on the action received. Plus on next state, and minus on previous state. Let's sync the two buttons. Go to button 2's observe react component. Make it listen to itself. Enable reactions. Add the default state to action translation rule, that will forward all events. And add button 1 to the send actions to array. Now, every time button 1 fires a state change event, even if it is the same state, it will forward the triggering action to button 2. Add another button, but this time use a preset. Go to blueprints, presets, cipher, numbers, and use cipher disk 8. It is just a simple button prototype, with the states, the rotating animation, and the handle mesh, already filled in. Select PK Lock Cap Full as the base mesh, and hit play, a cipher dial. Time to add the lights. This is a child actor based on the Stateful Actor class. It was created in a previous tutorial. If you do not have it, either follow the link in the description, or use any two state button, in which case skip adding the next component. Open the light actor blueprint and add an observe react component. This will let the light listen to button state changes. Enable reactions, and add a default state to action translation rule. Go to light one's observe component. Add button one to the listen to array. With reaction enabled, edit the default rule like this. If the state is one, and the state change was triggered by next state action, do a next state action, on itself. Now, when button 1 goes to state 1, the light turns green. Let's turn off the light when button 1 reaches state 0 again. For that, add the following state to action translation rule after the first one, if state is 0, and the change was triggered by a previous state action, send previous state to itself. Lights 2 and 3 will be configured in a similar way. First, make sure that all the lights have the iterative state behavior set to linear, so next state action will not cycle back to zero, and that they have enable reactions checked in their observe react component. Then, make light 2 listen to button 1. If the observed state is 2, and was triggered by a next state, do a next state action. And if the state is 1, and was triggered by a previous state, do a previous state action send these actions to itself. Light 3 also listens to button 1, but it does the next state action on 3, and the previous state action on 2. This component also sends actions to its owner. Let's make it so that when button 1 state cycles back to 0, all the lights turn off. Name the first state lights off. In the observe react component, listen to itself, enable reactions, and add the following rule. 
if the state value is lights off, and was triggered by a next state, send a restart action on all of the three lights. This will force them to go back to their startup state. Button 3 will count how many times light 3 is green. In its observe component, listen to light 3, enable reactions, and add a rule that matches the value of the light's last state. Do this only if it was triggered by a next state action, and send a next state action to itself. There it is. A simple counter. Instead of listening only to light 3, you can listen to all the lights, to make sure they are all green. Do this by adding all the lights, in order, to the listen to array, and select aggregate on state change. Notice the state separator. Change if state is to the concatenated string value, and leave everything else as it is. Just a few things left. Clean up the state array of button 1, by deleting the last two states. And enable state transition sounds. Set tick 1 as the up sound, and valve down as the down sound. That's it. Thanks for watching.